Hello and welcome to Medway School of Pharmacy informational videos. My name is Dr. Gubala and in the next slides, on the next few minutes, I will explain to you a little bit more about our Master of Pharmacy program and Master of Pharmacy with Foundation here. Well, let's start with the basic information. If you're an applying, if you're applying for a, a pharmacy, if you're considering applying for pharmacy, the very first thing you might need to know is what are the entry requirements? So for M-Farm program, which is a four-year program, the minimum entry requirements would be equivalent to A-levels. You would need at least three scientific subjects and a, the results would have to be an ABB. One of these subjects will have to be a chemistry and the other one will have to be from biology, physics or mathematics. If you are studying international baccalaureate, for example, you would need at least 32 points, and of which 15 would have to be at a higher level. Um, to include this would have to be more than five in both chemistry and one other science subjects. If you're studying other uh, qualifications, like a BTEC, for example, uh, or any other qualifications which are not uh, standard, please contact us or, or check our webpage. We explain some of the criteria on our webpage. Um, in addition to A-levels or equivalent of A-levels, you also will have to have satisfactory GCSEs uh, qualifications. You will need to have GCSEs at grade 5 or above, both in mathematics and English language. So these are the basic criteria. If your school predicts that you meet these criteria, you by all means you can apply to our school. And if you do, we will assess this and then we will invite you for a selection event or an interview event in which we will then further talk to you and then we'll find out about the motivation. Why do you want to study pharmacy, for example? If, on the other hand, you do not meet these criteria but you would like to study M-Pharm or Master of Pharmacy anyway, maybe possibly you don't meet these criteria because you might be a mature student who have studied a level a long time ago and then are not entirely sure if your level of knowledge is still as good. Sometimes some students might think that they come from disadvantaged background or some students just simply did not make uh, the grades enough for M-Farm directly. So if you are one of those students you can think that you possibly could apply to M-Farm with Foundation here. Um, the entry criteria for M5 with Foundation it will be the overall 72 UCAS tariff points. So you would have to go to UCAS tariff points calculation, input the qualification that you did, uh, and then you can see how many tariff points that gives you. If you have at least 72 UCAS tariff points, you can obviously then apply to our school. And again, you'll be assessed. In, for M-Farm with Foundation year, you will not need to have an interview. In this year, you will have an interview when you'll be transferring from the Foundation year to year one. Um, something to note is that for M-Farm with Foundation year, we still require that you will have some knowledge or some prior study of some science-based subjects. Okay? It would be preferably if it's biology or chemistry, but, but again, mathematics also is equally good. But again, it's preferable if it's at least one of those biology or chemistry. You would still need to have satisfactory GCSE requirements or qualifications from mathematics and English language and they should be at the grade 4 or above. Okay. So if you think that you meet the criteria for m with Foundation you can apply and you will be given a conditional or unconditional offer uh, immediately so you don't have to do uh, any direct interviews or any selection event. However, for both of the programs, uh, apart from the academic requirements, there are also some non-academic requirements. So non-academic requirements are called fitness to practice requirements and one of those is that you will, before you register, if you are entering an M-Farm program before your registration, you will have to actually do a satisfactory DBS checks or disclosure and barring service check and also you will have to provide uh, declarations about fitness to practice, about your fitness and relevant health checks. This does not apply directly to m with Foundation Year uh, students. m with Foundation Year students will only need to provide declarations about the fitness to practice but the 
disclosure and barring service checks and health checks will be done at the time when the foundation year will finish and the students will be transferring onto the year one. The M Farm uh, and M Farm with Foundation uh, has a very uh, unique structure. We call it a sustain. We call it a spiraled curriculum. And what this means is, if uh, if really let's talk about the M Farm as it is without the foundation. I will add this foundation a little later. So if you think of stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, in stage one usually students are exposed to a basic knowledge of physiology, pharmacology, cell biology and biochemistry, chemistry and pharmaceutics, and also some professional skills, law and ethics. So this is quite a lot of very steep curve from the A-levels or whatever studies at the secondary school. So there's a lot of basic information. A lot of this information is already in year one integrated and connected to each other because then in stage two and stage three we actually start integrating those into specific cases. Okay, so in stage two, for example, we have uh, modules that uh, encompass medicine and diseases. We have the heart, renal, endocrine, nutrition, uh, which is a 40 credit module, and then we have the separate joints, infections, lung, cancer, and skin, and then the lastly, we have brain, psychiatry, and eyes. Uh, so you will use the information gathered in year one in, or stage one in stage two. Later in stage three, we integrate this information with clinical practice. So stage three is all about using the knowledge you gathered in stages one and two and applying them into practice. In stage three, it's all about clinical practice. And as I uh, mentioned sometimes earlier, it was... Uh, every student in stage T also is doing a research project. This research project is a 40 credit module where each student will have to do a 12 weeks research projects either in biological sciences, chemistry and drug delivery or clinical practice. These research projects will terminate with, with uh, a writing of a thesis which will be defended in the form of a poster. So these are the four stages. Uh, the biggest module of all these stages in the stage four, which is the preparing for practice module. This is the, the clinical uh, module where all information that you learn in stages one, two, three will be all boiled down into one single module, which you have to show that you actually are able to integrate this knowledge and apply the knowledge into real practice. You will also have options to select few elective courses uh, such as advanced neuroscience, cell molecular biology, therapeutic agents, or drug delivery technologies. That's in the years four or stage four. If you choose to study uh, M Farm with Foundation year, on top of all these four stages, you will start in a stage foundation uh, in which you will have several smaller modules. So one of some of the important modules are obviously essentials in biology, chemistry, and mathematics. So you will have that. You will also have a module about academic study skills for university, where you will learn, for example, how to write an abstract, how to write uh, a report, how to present a poster, or how to present your scientific data. Uh, you will also have a module about introduction to laboratory practice in the foundation year where you will learn the very basic techniques in laboratory. Uh, you will learn about health and safety in laboratory and you will learn how to operate basic simple instruments that you will then use in stage one, two, three and four. You also have specific modules in foundation year one called drugs and diseases where you will learn how the chemistry and biology of the drug is integrated and linked together. And also we have the basic introduction to pharmacy skills, which is a predecessor of uh, introduction to pharmacy, which we have in a stage one. So uh, if you are studying m -Farm with foundation year, it will be a five-year course for you. If you're studying m -Farm without a foundation year, it will be a four-stage uh, or four-year course. Uh, I already mentioned that uh, if we only look at the M Farm program, uh, the curriculum is spiraled. So there's a there's a lot of information that you will you will learn in a year one, and you slowly but surely start to integrate and apply this information through years two and three. And year four 
is effectively just about preparing for practice and professional decision making. There's a bit of a sustained research projects and some advanced elective as well. Uh, the because we as a school believe that you learn or students learn best when they do something so there's a learning by doing experience we are very adamant that uh, placements uh, it, to which you will have to go should start from stage one and that's how it is actually done so not many schools in the whole countries organize placements for their own students and not many schools do it from stage one we are one of the few schools or we are one of the schools who does it from directly from stage one which is why as i mentioned earlier some of the non-academic requirements such as dbs checks health checks will have to be done at the time of registration because you simply cannot go to community pharmacy or work with patients uh, in year one if we don't have information for example about your vaccination record in stage two you will have more than a one day in community pharmacy you will do you will have to uh, visit hospitals as well uh, this is not a choice you will have to visit both community pharmacies and hospitals and the same thing uh, is in year three and in year four usually you learn from those professionals who you work with you learn by obser observing and you also learn by communicating with those people and you develop clinical skills through doing things directly in a clinical setting such as hospitals and community pharmacies as far as teaching method goes uh, we have cohorts uh, of m farm students approximately expect 100 students on an m farm course and you can expect approximately 80 students on uh, an environment foundation course so some we have a blend of different teaching methods some of them will are the classical ones like lectures where all hundred or all 80 students will sit in a lecture room and they will be given a lecture when we need to teach you something more specific we have to break down these cohorts into smaller groups so you will then have laboratories or seminars usually done in much smaller groups groups of up to 40 students but usually it's about 30 students uh, so we actually provide a little bit more personal experience for you and we can communicate with you individually more individually than it's possible during a lecture throughout the whole studies uh, you will have a chance to study case studies so you will have a very specific examples in which you will learn we also have uh, great facilities because we have simulation months there's a picture here with a plastic um, plastic patient which you will be able to learn well, so pretty much we built we built a, a replica of some kind of a, f a hospital ward with a simulation man where we can actually teach you what would potentially happen to a patient if you make a mistake and you overdose the patient by a factor of 10 for example so you can see how the vital function of a of a patient will uh, will be if you make a mistake so that kind of will teach you that uh, what aspects of pharmacy are actually critically important so that you minimize making mistakes and you actually make the best of clinical decision makings uh, we as I said earlier we offer placements so you will be going to placements from year one these are absolutely critical for you to learn everything right from the very first and experience but you will be provided a lot of other resources and supports that you can learn on your own with the with the assistance of uh, well anything that the, the new era of internet and and uh, resources videos and whatever else offer so it will be a lot of e-learning as well when it comes to assessment we have a wide range of methods uh, of course to assess you from the traditional ones which is the written examinations interim mcqs uh, laboratory reports anything all written courseworks you will also be doing some presentations as you probably can guess pharmacy is a lot about communication so being able to present something to different target audience will be critically important for you as a pharmacy so posters are just one part of that communication skills that you will need to learn we also have a lot of competency assessments such as dispensing pharmaceutical calculations and then something which we call OSCE OSCE 
uh, is a is a abbreviation for observed structured clinical examination, and it's all pretty much as a scenario based examination where you as a student will be facing a task and you will have to solve the task in about six or seven minutes while you will be talking to a what we call standardized patients and observed by an academic how you perform so it's it's a scenario based uh, examination this is my last slide so everything costs something as you know um, the current fees at the moment still for the home or still EU uh, applicants are 9,250 every year for overseas applicants the current fees are at 17,500 um, these fees are valid for entry from September 2020 uh, they may change or may change at all maybe uh, for entry in 2021 but if you really want to know the any current uh, values please have a look at our web page there are many loans and bursaries available uh, finance loans student finance loans obviously are available to most of the domestic students who have not studied anything at the university before uh, again I would encourage you to look up information on the finance web page you can enter both University of Greenwich Finance and also University of Kent because we actually are uh, equally administered by both uh, of course now we will be administered by University of Greenwich so you should look up information on the University of Greenwich finance page so that's in a nutshell something about the course something about uh, the structure of the course and the entry requirements um, there's more information on a web page you can also request prospectus where you have a little bit more details and you can always talk to us on uh, pharmacy admissions uh, at kent.acuk thank you